It's Alicia here from Featherweight 38 and I had a request to show everyone how to wind a bobbin. So uh, Cine, the Centennial here is what we're winding our bobbin on today. This particular machine already has a um, wonderful, fabulous owner that he will be going home to here shortly. Um, we're in the last stages of cleaning him up and getting him ready to go home. And one of the things that we do is we do wind a bobbin on the featherweights that we send out just to ensure that they are winding correctly. And then we use that bobbin and the thread that um, I include with the featherweight as a way to check the stitching. So we've got our cute little checklist off list here that unfortunately is ever growing. Um, I made this and then realized that I forgot to add stuff to it. So we are adding to that as we go along. So when winding a bobbin, you have your um, spool sitting up here on the spool pin. I use the thread stand that the Featherweight Shop provides. Um, it runs about $22, $23, and I like this because it helps lift the thread up off of the spool. You'll thread it through this eyelet, this eyelet, then you'll come straight down here and you'll thread it in between on this bobbin winding tensioner, and then you'll thread it from the inside out. Um, and then this piece of thread you'll hold on to, and as it's winding, it'll either break off or you can use a pair of scissors, which is what I like to do, and cut it off. So when you're winding a bobbin, you'll engage the stop back knob to make sure that the needle is not going to move up and down, and then you'll place the bobbin winding unit onto the band. You generally don't want to wind a bobbin super de duper fast. Um, we end up having to do a lot of our videos late at night, so we're kind of winding a little bit faster, but as you can see, if you wind too fast, your spool will end up popping up off of the spool pin. When you're winding a bobbin, you wanna keep note of where the thread is actually going. Um, and that's all the thread that was on there. If it's moving more to the right or the left, there's a little tiny screw down here on the bobbin winding unit. And you'll loosen that and then you can adjust this plate from right to left depending on where the thread is um, hanging up on here. So we've adjusted that and then we've went ahead and wound the bobbin. And basically what's next is to take the bobbin, as you can see I have three here that were wound off Cine, um, is to go ahead and take those bobbins and apply them in your case and start stitching. So that is how you wind a bobbin in a nutshell.